Hey, I hope you're all having a wonderful Christmas. Uh, so originally I wanted to make a presentation on AquaBSD, similar to the one from uh, uh, last year, but to cut a long story short, uh, while I was working on the presentation, my PSU just blew up. So that kind of sucks. Uh, but so I, instead I decided to use this time instead to work on uh, a lot of the behind the scenes stuff. Uh, so what you're seeing right here is nowhere near as feature complete as what I had uh, originally hoped, especially since I basically rewrote 90% uh, of what you saw during last year's presentation. So you know, things kind of kind of went backwards and then forwards and then uh, backwards again. Uh, anyway, uh, so let's just start. Let's just get into it. So what better place to start than the start menu? Or uh, I mean, I guess I can show the wallpaper first because otherwise I'm going to have to do that afterwards. Uh, right. So yeah, so it's, it's very much unfinished because of the whole PSU situation. Uh, it's It's got a low resolution uh, map image, whatever, uh, because the high resolution one wasn't really loading correctly for some reason, but you know, whatever. So it's 3D, so you can see it like suddenly moves around with my cursor. And if I'm interacting with the window manager, then it kind of zooms out like this and has a bit of a, of a, of an amplified effect. Um, and yeah, again, it's really unfinished. There's a lot of uh, compositing that I, uh, that I didn't get the, the, the chance to do. They're supposed to have a, like a volumetric pass that like makes these mountains a bit, a bit more you know, a bit, a bit less uh, clear, let's say. So yeah, and then next, start menu, yes. Uh, so I can open it up just by, I mean, right now it's bound to uh, pressing the super key and then right clicking anywhere. Uh, that's probably gonna change, but you know, for now it is what it is. And it's quite basic and bare bones. So it reads all the uh, Aqua ZPK files in your app folder and uh, prompts you to open them. So, you know, you've got like, I mean, these are the apps I've built for uh, Aqua. So these all have uh, ZPK files, which uh, which I can just put in my uh, uh, apps folder, and then they just get recognized and they uh, they display like this. Um, so like you've got your 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 terminal uh, Aqua specific apps like the uh, file manager, which I mean it's a it's a it's a really basic file manager. Um, if I just go into stuff, you know, you can just go into folders, uh, search. Search works quite well, <laughs> uh, and. Um, yeah, it's using my uh, my uh, the UI toolkit for 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 Aqua, and uh, you know, it's it's a file manager. What do you expect? Uh, yeah, I can search for stuff. Anyway, yeah, it's file manager, and uh, yeah, also in the start menu, I added like these uh, quick actions as I call them. So stuff like uh, getting your uh, IP address. So you just type in IP, and then it just displays it for you. It can be useful for 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 like a bunch of things. I've also got like. Uh, uh, jokes, so <laughs> yeah, it it it, uh, it fetches uh, jokes from uh, for, from a, an online API, which I'll I'll link in the description. Yeah, I mean that's pretty much it for the start menu. Again, it's very very uh, uh, basic. Uh, one thing that I have got planned for it is uh, in the quick action section is um, is like like actions to more complicated actions, basically. So stuff like getting the weather, being able to pass mathematical uh, expressions, and also like currency conversion. So if I type in uh, uh, five British pounds to US dollars, something like that. Um, and uh, and also, yeah, um, other actions are for apps. So I've got this for Blender, but it's not really integrated yet. Uh, it's being able to do stuff like uh, typing in, uh, open up a new uh, 2D animation scene in Blender, and then it will prompt you uh, to like select Blender, and then it will just open it in a preset a scene, and you know stuff like open my uh, most recent file, and and it will kind of recognize that and put it up here. I haven't really done the searching functionality for that. The idea that I've got for this is, uh, you know, you've got a bunch of keywords that match specific actions in an application's uh, ZPK file. And, uh, and then it displays them for you. Uh, that's not completely done yet, so I, I haven't really included it. If I, if, I, if I just close this and I bring over like a uh, VS Code, and uh, if I open up a Terminal, this is just to demonstrate uh, a basically basic window management uh, functionality. Uh, I, can, I can like snap to each side. So I can snap it here, snap this one here. And uh, I mean, <laughs> yeah, that's basically it. Uh, the, the the window management is very, 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 very basic. Uh, I there's there's a lot missing. I mean, you can't uh, like you don't you don't how how do you call that like um, a status bar? You don't have that yet. Um, there's there's yeah again there's no title bars. Uh, the animations are still a bit janky. So like it, I don't know it's a bit weird. 
Um, but I'm working on it. I'm <laughs> slowly, slowly working on it. Uh, and I mean, you can't even resize windows right now except for, for snapping them. So it's, it's, and oh yeah, also it's really buggy. <laughs> so it's borderline unusable and it's really buggy. But I mean, at least it's more functional than Microsoft's uh, Surface Duo 2. Um, so it works on XCB and EGL as opposed to what I was uh, originally going to use in my uh, X compositing uh, WM window manager demo, uh, which was Xlib and GLX. And honestly, that was a real pain in the ass to get to work with, uh, which is part of the reason uh, why I've disabled title bars and resizing for now, because they were, you know, they were, they were kind of, kind of not really working as expected. Um, what else can I show? Yes, Firefox. So, you know, it's Firefox. <laughs> it, it, it works as expected. Uh, it's currently the only browser that works right now on Aqua BSD. Um, Chromium, Chrome, and a bunch of others are coming soon, but especially to get Chrome to work, there's a lot of stuff uh, still to do. And uh, yeah, you can see that there's you know the cool blur effects behind uh, certain windows. If I maybe open up YouTube that I had before, there we go. Uh, you can see that it, it kind of it picks up on the color in the, in, in the background, and it, I think it looks nice. Uh, it's using uh, a simple uh, Kawase uh, blur shader, or sorry, uh, Kawase blur, as Intel would call it. Uh, but I think I want to replace it with a Gaussian blur and uh, bicubic upsampling in the, in the near future, actually, like in a few days. Uh, and, and I mean, honestly, that's that's all there is right now for the for the operating system. So I'll just exit out of that. Um, yeah, you, you can download it from the uh, <laughs> also very much unfinished uh, AquaBSD website. And uh, oh yeah, I, I guess I could show off the uh, the installer. Um, so yeah, the installer is basically the same as uh, as the installer from 10.21a, which was the previous uh, beta. And uh, yeah, I can show it off right now. Installer. If I boot it, so it's yeah. I mean, it's 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 a simple explorer. It uses the the UI's uh, frame buffer backend, so it works like. Um, it I mean, it just works on basically everywhere, and uh, it's still got the snake game too. So uh, I don't know. Yeah, there it is. So that still works. Let's see if I can. Uh, it's still got like the 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 pumpkins and the Halloween theme, but uh, to be honest, I'm too lazy to change that. And. Uh, yeah. Um, anyway, so close out of that. This too. So yeah, you can download it from the uh, from the unfinished also uh, AquaBSD website. Uh, but I wouldn't really advise installing it at the moment. To be honest, I'm not really saying you should uh, not trust me or anything. But um, I don't really want to encourage installing installing uh, random stuff from strangers on the internet until I can make the the build process uh, uh, open enough uh, that anyone can build an AquaBSD image themselves and see what's actually going into that image. Right. So there we go. Um, yeah, about the website, it, it loads fast, so there's that. I've got my kind of uh, own little uh, uh, micro frame framework work, sorry, uh, which you can find on GitHub, which um, you know compiles CSS and, and HTML into like one blob of file, which makes it so that you know it, it, it's fairly fast. Um, it's also got like a, a very much unfinished to a documentation page. I mean, this is very, very unfinished. This is literally the only page. The last thing I'd, I'd like to touch on is, you know, how a lot of the uh, OS components are, are laid out. So right now I'm using, uh, oh, it finished. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm using Cirrus uh, CI basically everywhere, um, which is a really delightful continuous integration solution. So uh, you can see here, it, like finished building the, uh, the uh, the kernel and the base of AquaBSD core uh, 1221a. Uh, I've also got this. Uh, if I go onto my GitHub. Oops. Um, what's it called again? AquaBSD build, I believe. Yes. Uh, I've also got this this tool, uh, a build script for FreeBSD uh, for creating your own AquaBSD images, which I call uh, Bob the Builder. So that's fun. So uh, you can you can like uh, install the packages you want uh, in advance. Um, and I mean, yeah, that's pretty much all there is to see. Uh, the next course of action is, is going to be to really work on getting the, the, the window managers to feel good and, and to work on AquaBSD core some more for a, another project I'm, uh, that's, I've got coming up. Um, but yeah, so thanks for watching. And once again, Merry Christmas and, uh, goodbye.